All right, for part three of this Rafter Your After video, we'll do the actual drawing of the rafter using the layout framework that we created previously. And during the pause there, I realized there's one more uh, guideline that uh, I want to have in on this, and that's going to be a line for the soffit. So I'm just creating another line, guideline, um, eight inches down off the top plate, which would represent a level for a cut on the rafter tail for a soffit. Okay, with that done, um, can grab the line tool and just trace out um, this rafter. And you can do a lot of this drawing um, just out in space, but I've found that things seem to behave a lot better if you give a if you uh, give sketch up a plane to work with, then it understands that you're trying to draw all these lines in the same plane, otherwise they go zinging off into space everywhere. Okay, so I've traced uh, our guides and I want to get rid of all this extra geometry, so I'm going to double click our rafter, zoom out, hold down the shift key, select everything, and you can see it reverses the selection. And then I'm going to um, delete which leaves us with a rafter and a bunch of lines. There's only a couple lines we still need, so let's do let's erase some of this stuff. And you can see that we have a 612 pitch rafter made out of a 2x6 and some guidelines set up for our fascia. And now we can simply grab the push pull tool, drag that rafter 1.5 or an inch and a half in that direction. And that gives us a 2x6 rafter to work with. Pretty simple. Uh, we'll do a little more work on this rafter in the next step.